Now the first step is to check for any outage. If there is any outage, you can check on this website. The link is provided in the video description. You can go to the EA website and over here you can see SCADE. Check if there is any kind of outage. If there is no outage, you can follow the steps from this video. Now the next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can check. Do not ignore this step, restart your computer once. Next, next step is to switch to different networks. So if you have any other network available, uh, you can switch to different network and then you can check. You can even use mobile hotspot. So turn on the data on your phone, turn on the hotspot on your phone and then connect to the uh, phone network. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now you can go to the Wi-Fi and then you can connect to your phone network and then relaunch the game and then you can check. Now still not working. The next step is to update, repair, uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat. So go to EA website. Uh, you can search for EA anti-cheat and you can go to EA website and on this website here you can see EA Javelin anti-cheat installer. You can click on it and then you can run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow. And over here you can select skate over here. And then click on repair. Click on OK. Go to the game installation folder and then select the game folder and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Once you see install success over here. So here you can see install success. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Select skate once again and then click on update. And during the update, EA anti-cheat setup may restart. And once you see update success, you can launch the game. If that does not work, again select skate and then click on uninstall. And then once the uninstall is done, click on install and then again launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, then you have to then uninstall once again. So uninstall it. Once the uninstall is success, now you can go to you can go to Steam or EA app and then try to relaunch the uh, game. And during the launch, it will re reinstall EA anti-cheat. Now click on yes to allow and this time it will reinstall EA anti-cheat and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, if you have any other anti-cheat uh, program like face it anti-cheat or any other anti-cheat then uninstall it. Close all the third party application and services. If you're using VPN turn off VPN and then check. Next we should run EA app as an administrator. Now for this, uh, you can close EA app and then type in EA app in Windows search box. Make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator and then check. If that does not work, run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files. And if you have the game on EA app, in that case, you can just click on this manage and then view properties and then click on open folder over here and go to the game installation folder. And then make a right click on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator and then check. You can even use EA anti cheat game service launcher. Make a right click, click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to launch EA app in offline mode. And this, so go to EA app and then you can go to three dots, uh, three horizontal lines over here and then go offline. Click on I, yes, I am sure. Once you go offline, you will see skate over here. Now you can launch the game from here. And once the game is up and running, once the game is up, up and running, you can go online. So once the game is running, now you can go back to EA app and then click on go online. And this will actually, yeah, it will go online and then you can start, you can continue playing the game. So let me close the game for now. Still not working. The next step is to Make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And then make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. 
also set time automatically if this is off turn it off and then click on sync now sync now is important click on sync now and then you can go back to time and language and go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then relaunch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to the antivirus program so if you have any like if you're using windows security go to windows uh, uh, settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps and then go to the game installation folder if you have the game on steam you can go to steam folder go to this location and then select the game exe file click on open if you have the game on e app then it's in c drive uh, then program files in EA games and then select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browser apps and then select this one and then again add and allowed app browser apps and then open installer EA anti cheat select this exe file click on open once it is added now type in control panel and then go to control panel system and security and then windows defender firewall allow an app to feature through windows defender firewall click on change uh, settings at the top allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folders do the same thing select all the three exe file once added now you can launch the game next step is to perform power cycle shut down your computer unplug the power cable Turn off the Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds, restart your computer, plug in the power cable back to the computer and then start the computer and then check. Next step is to run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run this as an administrator, click on yes to allow and run this command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Once it is done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, use Google DNS server. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, go to network and internet, go to network and sharing center, click on your Wi-Fi over here, and then you can click on properties and then select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then select click on properties. Click on use for use the following DNS server addresses. For preferred DNS server, type in 8888. For alternate, type in 8844. And then click on validate settings upon exit. Then click on OK. Close this. And then you can close this. Launch the game and then check. If that does not work, uh, if it if you're already using the manual uh, like Google DNS or any manual DNS server, you can select IPv4. IPv4 once again and then if this is already uh, like you have said you're using manual one and in that case you can set, set it to automatic over here click on OK and then try to launch the game again and then check still not working you can uncheck IPv6 so scroll down over here you can see internet protocol version 6 TCP IPv6 you can uncheck this box hit OK and then you can launch the game and then check once you are done playing the game, you can you can put the check check it again. Once you are done playing the game, and then still not working. The next step is to perform network reset. Before you perform network reset, let me inform you uh, that you have the Wi-Fi password. Uh, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password because when you perform network reset, when you try to connect to your uh, network, it will be asking for your password. So make sure that you have the pass password of your Wi-Fi. Now go to uh, network and internet and then go to advanced option advanced network settings and then over here you can see network reset click on reset now click on yes and during this system will restart and then you can connect to your wi-fi and then check next is to use ethernet connection if you have if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable you can go for a wired connection and then check next is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and then 
go on steady. Now the last thing is to repair or verify the game files. If you have this game on Steam, make a right on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is done, launch the game. Similarly, if you have the game on EA app, click on manage, and then click on repair, and then after the repair, launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue of the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.